So we're here by the hives uh, to show you how to use Hive Alive, some tips and bits and pieces that'll help you that you might not already know. So we have here a 100 ml bottle and the first thing you need to know is that before you use your Hive Alive you need to give it a good shake for two or three minutes to make sure all the ingredients that have settled are, are all mixed in evenly throughout the bottle. The important number to remember is 2.5 mils of Hive Alive to every litre of syrup. Further than to American or Imperial, that's basically one teaspoon for every half a gallon. And when you add the syrup, don't add to hot syrup. Keep the syrup under 50 degrees Celsius, otherwise you'll damage the, the actives, in particular the seaweed actives that are in the product. So keep, keep the syrup cool when you're, when you're adding to it. And you can also add to fondant or to inverted syrup, it doesn't make a difference. Hive is best used in the autumn. That allows the bees then to, when it's fed in the autumn, these bees to be eating it over the winter time, so they're constantly protected, and it also prevents pathogen buildup in the cells where the hive alive is stored. You can also use it in the spring, and that's shown to be good for colony buildup. One question we get asked a lot is how much hive alive to feed. Based on the trials that we've done, feeding them four liters in the autumn, four liters in the spring provides us with excellent results with year-on-year -year increased. The trials showed a near doubling of hives after two years. Hive Live, you can spray and drench also. It's very useful if the bees aren't doing well. If they're not taking down the feed, they're looking poorly. Spraying the hive in particular is very good for cleaning up a hive that's dirty. It's been over the winter, it might get a bit mouldy, that sort of thing. So it's very straightforward. You're using one-to-one -one syrup. You're adding Hive Alive in at the normal ratio of 2.5 mil per litre. Basically, you want to get your bees a little bit wet, but you certainly don't want to be drowning them. You certainly don't want them falling off the frames with the liquid you're putting on them. Hive Alive has other uses as well. We've got great feedback from beekeepers that painting the activated syrup onto old foundation, particular foundation that bees are slow to draw out on, is very good for them to start to draw out on. The smells of a Hive Alive can also mask queen pheromones, which can be very useful if you're introducing a new queen. With Hive Alive, the ingredients in the product prevent the syrup from fermenting, so you don't have to worry as much about your syrup going off. In particular, it gives you a longer feeding window, because if they take in the syrup and they haven't processed it yet, it can stay in the combs as syrup. It won't ferment, it won't make the bees sick. So it's something you can rely on. Plus, it means if you made too much syrup and you have some left over, you can keep over the winter and use it again in the spring. Thymol-based miticides can sometimes upset the bees when added into the hive because they're not used to the strong smell of, of the thymol. If you use Hive Alive in activated syrup a week or two uh, in advance, the bees get used to the smell of thymol that's in Hive Alive. So when you go to putting in your thymol-based miticide, the bees don't have as adverse re reactions they would have just putting it in cold. 